morning dear friends welcome to my channel so far we have discussed about so many cross anatomy topics today i am going to continue so the triangles so we have discussed some triangles long back and this is the continuation of this class of triangles okay so today's triangle which we are going to discuss is triangle of hypotenuse so what is this triangle of hypotenuse who discovered this triangle but those are the things we are going to discuss and the importance clinical importance of this triangle that we are going to know about it so let's get started before going to see that please subscribe to my channel dear friends so who discovered this so the triangle of coach has been discovered by the scientist called as walter karl coach he was a german surgeon and he was a pathologist and cardiologist discovered this triangular area in the right atrium of the heart so he i could not find i could not find his photograph to uh, show you the picture of him rather i am going to uh, share his views on this triangular area of which he has been discovered has discovered in the right atrium of heart now what is this triangle of coach as the scientist a uh, walter karl coach has been discovered this triangle it is called as triangle it is named as coach triangle so the boundaries of the coach triangle are anteriorly we can identify the base of septal leaflet so base of septal leaflet which is present anterior anteriorly so it is forming the anterior boundary so anterior bound here then i am going to show the post. let me show you what is present behind and behind it is bounded by anterior margin of the coronary sinus opening this is the coronary sinus opening and this is the anterior margin and this is the posterior margin so behind this triangle we can identify anterior margin of coronary sinus anterior margin of the coronary sinus then above above we can identify the tendon of todaro this is a tendon of todaro what is this tendon of todaro so this tendon of todaro it is a rounded it is a rounded collagenous palpable subendocardial tendon okay so it is a round collagenous palpable subendocardial tendon so this name name of this tendon is called as tendon of todaro which is present above the triangle so this entire this area it is consisting of the tendon of todaro and it is forming the above boundary of the triangle of coach here identify that now why should i learn why should someone know about it why should a clinician should know about it so it is a landmark of particular surgical import indicating the site of atrioventricular node and its atrial connections so why atrioventricular node why we must know about this atrioventricular node that is also very important to know about it so the atrioventricular node which is it is also it is uh, generating the impulses so the first pacemaker is sa node sinoatrial node and second pacemaker is called as atrioventricular node so this atrioventricular node which is present in the triangle of coach and it is uh, specialized cardiac muscle cells are present in that specialized cardiac muscle cells are present in that then so this uh, nodal this it is called as nodal cardiac muscle cells so this nodal cardiac muscle cells which are present in the ab node this node is present in the triangle of coach triangle of coach and it is a, which are smaller than the typical cardiomyocytes and lack intercarotid discs so when you see in the histological part with you can see that in the histology uh, where we can identify that all the cardiac muscles are branched and between that we can identify intercarotid discs but this ab node it is lack of intercarotid disc lack of intercarotid disc a specialized feature of nodal cells is the ability of self excitation so it can generate the impulses on its own through which through which they are able to independently produce spontaneous electrical impulses so the nodal cells transmit these impulses onto adjacent or perinodal cardiac myocytes through gap junctions so important to know about this uh, ab node is that the 
Electrical signals are delayed slightly within the AV node. It is approximated by 40 milliseconds delayed, which is due to the lower number of gap junctions present on these cells. Two things you must know about the importance of the AV node are lack of intercalated discs and the number of the gap junctions are less. Number of the gap junctions are less in the AV node. So that is about the triangle of coach, dear friends. Thanks. Thanks for watching, my dear friends. See you soon with a new video.